individual mm -hmm. embraces the ambitions of mm -hmm. each individual. So what I look for in every employee is their ambition mm -hmm. uh, and their drive mm -hmm. and their goal, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it's really about understanding a person who's got the talent mm -hmm. but also has the, the boldness mm -hmm. to really showcase their talent within mm -hmm. the company and, and take it to the next level, which mm -hmm. in the end makes my job easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's very, you know, you want someone who's smart, this, and talented at the same time. It's kind yeah, of absolutely. hard to balance yeah. all that, right? <laughs> it is. It's a tough, it's uh -huh. a tough thing, but, you know, if you create the right environment, mm -hmm. I think it, it really allows for someone to, to mm -hmm. tap into that, mm -hmm. whereas uh, in, in a lot of companies out there, mm -hmm. Um, it, it's really uh, oppressive and, yeah. and it really doesn't give you the, the opportunity mm -hmm. to, to showcase and exemplify what you really have. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a shooting star moment break for a moment here. Um, earlier, uh, Mr. John Paul Lee said embracing. So this is actually a good expression for you to know and actually practice a lot. So embracing. Embrace hectic and go kiaran goyo. So for example, hugging or embracing something. So you can embrace a person or a thing or even a thought. So this is actually a good expression. So we had to capture that good expression that you use. Um, I don't know, how do you use that expression, embrace? You used it before, so how would you? Yeah, I use it, it the exact same way you do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to me, it, it's all about embracing mm -hmm. everything. I mean, mm -hmm. Embracing uh, a thought, <clears throat> like mm -hmm. you said, embracing an idea, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I allow that in, mm -hmm. in the company. You know, in the end, uh, my employees and my mm -hmm. staff and, and, and my colleagues are, are the face of the company. I'm mm -hmm. the behind the scenes guy, right? So uh, <laughs> uh -huh. I want them to embrace yeah. what they desire and mm -hmm. I want them to embrace their ambitions and, and really move forward with yeah. um, you know, the, the tools that they have. Mm -hmm. and, and it's my job to give them the tools, mm -hmm. the correct set of equipment mm -hmm. to be successful. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a question for you. So when you are, when people are, um, because you are a successful uh, corporation, when people are applying uh, to you and you get, you must get a lot of resumes when people, you know, when you put up an ad or, you know, saying that you're hiring. So in a person's resume, what are you actually looking for in the resume? Mm -hmm. You know, that's the hardest part mm -hmm. is um, I like to look at people mm -hmm. and talk to people mm -hmm. and engage them and yeah. do a little banter back and forth. So going through a resume first and foremost, mm -hmm. although it's, it's, it is the first step, mm -hmm. it's the hardest because in the end, mm -hmm. resumes don't necessarily link up and match yeah, up, right? Uh -huh. So um, I don't really look for any buzzwords necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a gut feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and we go through uh, mm -hmm. a couple layers mm -hmm. of, of um, researching the resumes and going through and analyzing the resumes. Mm -hmm. So it's not just me looking for buzzwords. Mm -hmm. It's a team of people looking for specific things. Mm -hmm. and, and ultimately, each uh, resume comes to me, and, mm -hmm. and, and I'm definitely involved in each hiring process. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, it's really hard to say what exactly I look for. Mm -hmm. It's really mostly uh, upon meeting the person, mm -hmm. which is in the interview itself. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take you back many, many years. Before you had uh, this company, you worked for another big, uh, was it consulting company? It was, uh, yes. And um, now, did you get into this consulting company right after university? Or? Straight out of college, So yes. when you went into that company, uh, you know, how did you feel like you got into that company? It's a big company, yep. very competitive company. And so how was your whole interview process with right. that? Right. So my interview process was mm -hmm. a little crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, I uh, didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I, I actually um, you know, studied quite a few things while mm -hmm. I was in college because I just didn't know what I wanted to do when I grew mm -hmm. up. So when I was interviewing, mm -hmm. um, I went a little overboard. Mm -hmm. I interviewed for 32 job positions uh, from 32 yeah. different companies. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 32 interviews and 32 different companies. Yes, yes. Whoa, and that's like full-time job interviewing. It was. Uh -huh. my, uh, my senior year in college was uh -huh. all dedicated to interviewing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the first couple was, mm -hmm. was practice. Mm -hmm. And from then on, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just got into this addiction mm -hmm. to, to meet people and, mm -hmm. and, and, and go through this interview process. And again, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I wanted to make sure <laughs> uh -huh. I had all the options on the table. Uh -huh. And um, I did 32 interviews. Uh -huh. And I think... What really made my interview process mm -hmm. successful mm -hmm. was trying to identify and my uh, ability to identify mm -hmm. how to differentiate myself. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have thousands of, of people yeah. that, that are going after one job. Mm -hmm. How do you make yourself different? Mm -hmm. How do you make yourself memorable? Mm -hmm. um, and it's really interesting, but it worked like a charm. Mm -hmm. I, I actually got denied from two places, so I got 30 uh -huh. jobs by the end of uh, offers. Um, uh -huh. 
And uh, uh -huh. really, it was about flipping the script. You uh -huh. know, when these interviewee, interviewers come in, mm -hmm. they come in with a script. Yeah. They come in with a set of uh, line of questions. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's my job to ask them the <laughs> uh -huh. question, right? Uh -huh. what, I'm looking for the job, mm -hmm. right? If you really think about it, mm -hmm. they're there to pick you up. Yeah. But you're there to identify and understand what you want to do mm -hmm. and if that place is the right place for you. Mm -hmm. So you should be asking the questions as well. Mm -hmm. right? Most people don't because they're, they're scared. Yeah. Uh, they get intimidated. Mm -hmm. They feel like they have to sit within a certain structure and a certain template, mm -hmm. which is basically on the receiving end of questions. Mm -hmm. They don't realize most mm. people like to talk about themselves. Yeah. Right. So when <laughs> uh -huh. the interviewer comes uh -huh. in, it's my job to sit down mm -hmm. now and say, "How do you feel? Mm -hmm. How long have you been there? Right. Are you happy? Do uh -huh. you regret it?" And uh -huh. so by the end of the 15, 20 minutes uh -huh. of, of interview, they look back at their script and go, uh -huh. "I just realized I never asked you a single question." <laughs> they just talked about themselves. Exactly. <laughs> and and I think that's what really made them. Uh -huh. uh, uh, remember mm -hmm. our interview mm -hmm. as opposed to anybody else because I had that ambition and the boldness to ask them because yeah. I just sincerely want to know. Mm -hmm. I want to know if this is a place that people yeah. enjoy mm -hmm. uh, and, and if it's a place that's really for me that mm -hmm. I can see myself working for a couple of years mm -hmm. if not a, a longer mm -hmm. period of time. Right. Wow. That's pretty incredible. So all these uh, 30 jobs that you got right after university, which normally people after, you know, uh, getting out of university, getting a job, it takes them a long time and lots of process, even, you know, getting that one interview. So how did you then decline all the 30 positions? Um, you know, honestly, it was, uh, mm -hmm. it was an easy decision because mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to, to stay close uh, mm -hmm. to my family uh, mm -hmm. in Virginia. So I narrowed it down to mm -hmm. uh, geographic mm -hmm. region, and then it came down to mm -hmm. um, the numbers, mm -hmm. the, the zeros at the end, right? Mm -hmm. So um, that's what it really came down to. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and all jokes aside, but it really came down to understanding mm -hmm. the culture, Mm -hmm. um, multiple rounds of interviews, so mm -hmm. you really get to talk to multiple people. Yeah. And it came down to gut feeling as well. So mm -hmm. um, I chose the consulting business because it, it came down to a an opportunity where I would be able to travel, mm -hmm. like I said, to the London and, mm -hmm. and abroad. So it was the right fit for me, and, mm -hmm. uh, and I'd made the right decision um, mm -hmm. at the time being. Mm -hmm. So wow. no regrets. Yeah, well, that's, that's great, you know. Um, now, this company that you first went into, you said towards the end, you definitely want to go and you know, create your own business, but what was the moving moment? Why you want to leave that big, giant consulting company? Uh, I felt like I was plateauing. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't growing. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, I think you know, I was getting bored. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were so many different ways.